thank you for this. Uh, actually, I'm a professor of theory of literature and computational st studies, uh, something like that, of literature and culture at the University of Roma Torbergada, but even much more different things. And okay, so I'm, I'm going back um, from the level of yeah, research and abstraction uh, that we have been hearing so far. Actually, I'm kind of connected with the project that Jennifer and Vera were presenting before because I'm presenting a very small project of an attempt to do uh, uh, computational text analysis, applied computational text analysis. And uh, well, you know, the field is, uh, has been growing a lot in, in the last year and has, gra has great relevance also in the, so to say, traditional uh, uh, field of uh, literary criticism and theory. Um, however, the, to do seriously computational text analysis, you need high-level modeling, computing skills, um, and uh, of course, uh, you need also infrastructures, uh, tools, and so on and so forth. And so it uh, has limited the wider adoption, namely in the uh, teaching of literature at the level of high school and even at lower grades, but anyway, uh, teaching at high school and, and this may really sound strange, in trying to promote reading among the young. And I know it, this kind of maybe sound as a fool uh, attempt, but this is what we are trying to do, at least to explore what happens. So we believe that we can do something on this. And um, actually the project was uh, a, a cooperation between the, this center, that is a chapel, a chapel, actually, with chapel in Italian, um, that financed the project. And this is a, a cent, a, an institute that is uh, attached to the Ministry of Culture, and that has the objective of implementing um, uh, policies, uh, I mean, policies for the dissemination of books and readings in, in Italy, of course. And it's directed by the, Dr. Angelo Viero Cappello, who is Actually, the, the original uh, uh, conceiver of the, uh, this uh, full idea, and then it got in contact with me that, uh, okay, I have this small center that is actually only a name for having a room that actually still not have, but anyway, I, I at least have the name for the room and the lab. Um, and so we uh, thought how to uh, use some of the tools that we are uh, applying in computational literary studies to see if they could, in a way, be a, a, a sort of uh, um, um, a mean for uh, um, showing uh, that uh, you can play with books in many different ways, and maybe at the end of the game, you may want to read that book with which you have been playing. So, uh, Moretti, in his founding paper of Distant Reading, said we have to make a little pact with the devil, uh, learning how not to eat. So, we are sort of reversing the, the, the idea. So, we uh, made a sort of a, a, a Pascalian gambit. Now, let's see if uh, uh, using Distant Reading tools and other kind of approaches, but anyway, all computational approaches to literature, um, uh, we, we, we can test the the, 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 the efficacy of this paradox that is uh, by learning how not to read, you can get closer to reading literary heritage. And especially this is for the younger uh, uh, generations that you know are reading less and less, or at least this is what statistics says. Um, oh, this is uh, something that I can jump because there have been some experiments, uh, actually not so much, uh, at least for, for what I know, um, and uh, so there have been some application in a, in a, in a school in the northern Italy in, in, in uh, uh, Trento that has uh, applied uh, um, uh, sentiment analysis to a novel by a well-known Italian uh, writer, a contemporary Italian writer, that is Niccolò Manniti, that is m much appreciated, especially in the younger generations, but it's a, a, I mean, a high bro writer or at least pretend to, uh, and maybe it is as half and half, <laughs> we would say. Um, and others uh, experiments uh, also outside uh, our country. And then there is this interesting project by a, a colleague uh, from University of Bologna that has been doing in the last years a lot of experiments in trying to, uh, um, uh, not, mu not so much reading, but in improving the, the relation with the literary texts in the high schools, uh, uh, namely using uh, uh, 
computational philology or digital philology uh, to understand how, for instance, uh, the, the work of Manzoni, that is quite an interesting case because maybe you don't know, but it, it has had, uh, uh, one original edition then uh, two other uh, uh, print editions that are completely different, so it's a kind of classical case for genetic uh, phenology. Anyway, uh, what you have done? Uh, uh, well, we uh, 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 try to uh, setting up this small platform, this, this tool, to put some tools uh, on the website, selecting a, a number of uh, canonical, very important novels uh, in the time span of late uh, 19th century, early 20th century, for obvious reason, but also because they are actually very important novels that they have to read. And in the uh, last year of Italian high school, it's very seldom you arrive at, at the uh, uh, literature of the second uh, part of the century, yep. Um, and then uh, applying some, uh, some uh, tools uh, that were very basic tools, not, not very complex tools, and uh, showing uh, to, uh, what you could do with these tools. So we selected, of course, uh, first of all, Voyant, uh, and some aspects of Voyant, not all, because it can be quite complex. Then we uh, use, this is not really easy, but uh, the results are more spectacular. So the, this BERT topic, uh, that is a uh, topic modeling tool based on BERT, so uh, 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 maybe you, some of you have uh, already used it. It's uh, an, an attempt to improve the uh, uh, basic bag of model uh, uh, approach to topic modeling in LDA and similar tools. Then we use the well-known R library uh, Suzet by Matt Jokers. And then we use also some other tools, for instance, uh, try to automatize, automatize uh, naming the entity recognition for creating networks and also something else that I will show you because I have actually, uh, should have the platform. Yep. Well, okay, this is the main Entrance, and then you you see the pictures of Pirandello, Johnny Verga, D'Annunzio, and then you jump into one of those authors, and you can uh, see this. So you have the classical. In, well, this is the classical uh, 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 clouds war cloud that is kind of attractive because they, there's a lot of colors. Then you have some, uh, of course, list of. Frequencies, um, the context, that is the co con concordances, uh, and this is something that you well know, it's, uh, they are taken from uh, Wayan. Then we have the topics uh, generated by, by their topic that are quite in interesting in this case, not in all cases. And then you can also see all other, uh, this is a kind of more complex intertopic distance map or uh, the hierarchical clustering of the same set of topics and the similarity the matrix and so on and so forth. And then uh, you can see at the end, yes, the, the emotional uh, uh, part of this novel uh, based on the, excuse it, the network analysis again. And, and what we added that had been done almost uh, manually is this is the part that the um, protagonist of the novel, this is Andrea Sperelli, had to make, had to follow, to, to go to a duel, this is a topical point of the, of the novel, Il Piacere by D'Annunzio, and it's of course based on a simple tool, uh, you can see uh, how he walked uh, from uh, uh, the place where he was living, that is a high level, upper class part of uh, the, 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 the city of Roma, to the Genicolo where the duel actually should have happened, and happened, uh, and uh, you can of course follow and then maybe add pictures. And why we choose this uh, simple application of geotagging? Because the idea is not so much that you can see this and say, okay, that's great, but uh, the idea is that this set of tools, uh, of course there are, sorry, there are also some uh, um, uh, reading uh, approach, base, basic reading approach to the text. You can download the text in various formats. And we also implemented this interesting tool that is based on, a, on a, um, some well-known studies on neurophysiology of reading that uh, it's stressing, you can see it very well here, but anyway, uh, it stresses some parts of the words that are the parts that should be uh, those that are more uh, attractive when you read, uh, based on eye tracking analysis of uh, 
readers. And uh, there are some other ap applications of this bionic reading, and we wanted to test it. But anyway, what is uh, interesting is that we not only give a set of texts, we can also enlarge them, but we give also all the tools to be used by the, yes, to be used by the, the students. Uh, and so they can reproduce all the, uh, all the analysis uh, in our platform, just uploading the text. In, there are three cases in which you have to upload the text to have exactly the same kind of analysis and tools, so, so they can play with that. Now, my failure and the road ahead, because it's my failure, because I expected not to present this toy, okay, but to uh, 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 tell you what we uh, had seen uh, in our uh, uh, experimentation. So, uh, we tried to show this tool uh, to various secondary level classrooms, uh, and also this, this, the website has a, a plenty of explanations, uh, basic level, introducing all the tools, what and how they can do so it's, uh, but we also wanted to create a, a first phase teaching to teachers and then uh, tutoring the students and the classes and see what happens and then get some data to reflect mostly uh, ethnographic approach of uh, 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 analysis, not because the numbers could, couldn't be great, it's not a big project, it's just a couple of thousand of uh, viewers. Um, uh, the problem is that we started this at the end uh, of the first quarter, uh, the first semester or quarter in high, in high school, and in the, in, of course in the last year, yes, in wrap them up, and, uh, and, and that's the moment in which the students in Italy start worrying about the final exam. So there is, and the teachers as well. So they simply were interested, and yes, great, especially the mapping, because they, the, the idea of mapping, uh, this, they, because they have to read. So my idea was, okay, each guy take or group, of, of, of students take a chapters and they select the places and then they build them up. The same for network analysis. The other tools are less, I mean, uh, uh, reading and uh, attracting. But anyway, uh, uh, so this phase, uh, we couldn't actually do it. Uh, we just did the presentation that we asked them and okay, now we are <laughs> in this moment we can. So this is uh, what we are going to do for starting from September. And uh, yes, thank you.